Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This is kind of like a follow-up to my previous video where I talked about what's my EDC and I promised you guys that I'll be talking a little bit more about the wallet that I carry right now and this is it. This is the Kaizen wallet by Kisetsu and I've been using this for the past, I would say, three, four months and I've got to say that I've thoroughly enjoyed my experience with this wallet so far. Now, I must admit that this is rather specific to myself because everyone's requirements for a wallet is going to be different. Now, I know that a lot of people out there, especially those in the EDC world, are really particular about how minimal their wallets are, especially because a lot of people would rather carry light, so you go for very minimalistic wallets that are just basically cashless, it's all cards, but it doesn't really suit my purpose, it's not really my preference, so that's why I have this wallet. Now, just a little bit of a backstory to kind of build up to this particular wallet. In the past, I've always carried bifold wallets. Now, just a brief history of the wallets that I've carried so far. This is a wallet by the V brand that I carried like years and years ago. I think that this kind of design went a little bit out of style after a while, so it's a bifold wallet. And this is a very typical kind of setup that I like in a bifold wallet, where there's an ID card slot here with a see-through plastic window, but I tend to put pictures here because, you know, it's kind of sweet that way. Then you got a few slots for cards. You've got two dividers like that. And oh, I didn't even realize that I had some money in here. Well, okay, so these are like, you could tell it's it's China dollars, uh, renminbi. So yeah, this is a very typical bifold wallet that I use, but went out of style. And then after that, Emma got me one of these. This is a wallet by Gnome and Bo. It's also a bifold wallet, almost exactly the same layout as this one over here, but it doesn't have that see-through ID slot. Very simple, very straightforward. And along with this, Emma actually gave me a little coin pouch as well. This is like a coin card holder, I should say. Not so much of a coin pouch. It's also by Gnome and Bo. But yeah, the reason why she got me this is because this wallet couldn't hold coins and she knows that I always keep coins with me. Because yeah, when you go to a coffee shop or a hawk center, generally when you buy a drink, you use coins, right? Or at least you get change in coins. So always have coins with me. Two years ago, for Christmas, she gave me this wallet, a simple bifold wallet with only one slot here, but it did have this flap over here. And you can see I put pictures here, so that's a picture of myself and Emma from a long, long time ago. Yeah, it does have a zippered slot here. I don't know what I put in there. I almost never use that slot because there is a coin pouch here. So this was like a, oh, that's, that's where it is. So I've got a one fuck coin here and I've got a two cents. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, I got a couple of coins that are left over in there. But yeah, it's a coin pouch here. And the thing is, yeah, this is something that I like to be able to have coins being held in a wallet at the same time. This is something that I really enjoyed. So you kind of put this out of commission as well when Emma gave me this. So I started carrying this exclusively. And then you guys know, Enda sent me this. This is the Diplomat wallet. And yeah, it's been quite well used. You guys can see more scratches have appeared. It's a single slot kind of bifold wallet with two card slots here on the back and it's got a see-through ID card slot here but there's no plastic protecting it and it's a very simple minimalistic wallet that it's made very well but it doesn't have a coin pouch so when I carried this this came back into the picture so these were the pair and that's it for the brief history let me get all the wallets and the coins aside I was looking for a product possibly that could solve all my problems where it could be a single product that would be able to hold cards bills coins and possibly even a pen and this thought came to my mind because I actually saw some solutions by Dango wallets and Dango is quite cool in terms of its modularity and the offerings that they have now I didn't buy it because they didn't really have a bifold wallet with a slot for bills and would still be able to carry coins but they did have a solution that was able to carry a pen and I thought that was quite cool but I was watching Bo is Mono on YouTube and uh, shout outs to Bo is Mono I think he does a lot of wonderful wonderful bag reviews and he actually reviewed this but I was like well this thing has a coin slot here and the way he showed it was like well this doesn't really serve a purpose because the coins just fell out until I visited We The People and yeah I do realize that many of you don't know what We The People is or what We The People are it is a local store here in Singapore that carries Kickstarter products or projects that were successfully funded on Kickstarter and they're also a platform to kind of promote certain Kickstarter campaigns and yeah so this was actually a Kickstarter campaign when I went down to the shop and I tried it out and I realized oh goodness this possibly could be the solution that I was looking for all the time so this is the Kaizen wallet guys by Kisetsu. This is in a very dark blue. They call this the steel blue. So apart from it being made in crazy horse leather, it is a bifold wallet. But it's interesting because most bifold wallets are in the kind of like landscape orientation. But this is more like in a portrait orientation. It came in this box. And in this box is, okay, let me flip this around, is a little pamphlet, I guess, like a little slot in, uh, 
manual that kind of showcases the details here so you've got some really good details now they do sell versions that are completely fully rfid protected so this one actually is right side rfid protected so you can see right side here which means this side it does come with a travel pen and a pen ink refill i'll just take these out for the sake of this video also the nib is protected so you don't have to worry you see it's got a bit of protection there so i'll put this here and i will also grab that travel pen it does come with a couple of stickers and it comes in this pouch this felt pouch so it's a pretty good overall package let's talk about the details of this wallet now you have the pen slot here so this travel pen actually slots in here like that and you could have that pocket clip either on the inside like that or you could clip it along the leather like that but if you do that see how it's gonna probably cause a mark or scratch on the leather so generally i would keep it this way and it sits perfectly in there doesn't protrude out and it closes quite nicely uh but yeah this is not the pen of choice because you know it's a very simple pen you know nothing special just a twist pen and it's really thin really small and it's not as comfortable to write with but you know it's a travel pen it serves its purpose it also has a slot for the pen ink refill on the inside there and i'll get to that in a short while let me just talk about the card slots here so you've got a slot here with a pull tab that you could hold a couple of cards in here and i like this um actually i think it holds up to three because you can see that there's this stretchable uh, material here that allows this to expand a little bit more. You do have a card slot here as well that you can put a card. You do have a couple of card slots on the back, on the inside. Yeah, you could put two cards and then you could have more on the other side here. And the reason why I put the travel card here is because this half is not RFID protected. So that really makes sense. Like when I'm commuting and I want to take the train, I don't have to open my wallet and take out a card. I could just have my wallet closed and tap it on the reader. Now there is also a slot for bills. So I got a couple of bills here and yeah, these are all Singaporean dollars. It fits a $50 bill. Just nice just nice so if you have a bill that is slightly wider than a $50 bill sometimes it'll get caught in the corner of the wallet like right there and it might touch the glue that was used to seal the wallet and that's speaking from personal experience I tried fitting a Taiwanese note in there and one of those bigger Taiwanese dollar notes got actually stuck in there and when I was pulling it out it actually ripped I don't know if there's any leftover residue of that note in the corner somewhere but yeah that's something that you should take note of now i don't have access to a lot of bigger us notes but i do have a couple of us dollar notes here or us bills i should say i've got a one dollar bill and a twenty dollar bill so they do fit quite well and in general i believe that the us dollar bills are slightly larger than the singapore dollar bills so yeah 20 fits there perfectly with no folding or any crushing or whatever so yeah it just sits very nicely so i believe that a 50 should fit just nice i i may be wrong you know uh those of you who are more familiar especially those of you in the us you should know the sizes of your your notes and your bills on the inside of where the bills go there are some extra slots a slot holder for a sd card a sim card and then you also have a sim card removing tool slot whatever that is that thing is called yeah you have a slot for that as well i have to say that it's really easy to put your remover tool in but it's quite difficult to take out so that's why i don't actually have it here i mean i usually put it in when i'm traveling like to overseas and i'm changing out sim cards because i buy a local sim card for data but i gotta be honest with you sometimes i feel like i'm actually stretching my wallet out so far that it feels like it's gonna rip just so i could take that that tool out bringing it a bit closer so that you guys can see it's all very nicely cut out slots and the edges are rounded now on the other side you do have a little ring tab that's actually for your pen ink refill just get your pen ink refill and then just slot it in there and then this little baby sits right there so you always have ink on you just in case you need a refill it sits like that with the pen in here so that's what it looks like pen and ink refill quite cool and now after installing that this is the difficult part of trying to get it out you really have to kind of dig it out especially if you have larger fingers my hands aren't too big but if you have like <laughs> like kurt's hands from blade hq ham hands if you got the hams then it's going to be quite difficult for you to get out so yeah uh find some way to grab it and then pull it out oh great see i pulled out the back of the refill and the refill is still in there so yeah just find a way to kind of pinch it then you could pull it out there we go so yeah that takes a little bit of effort and let me just put this back and get them out of the way so it wouldn't distract us now all these notes just go away the next thing i want to talk about is this coin pouch slot so this is something that i had to try firsthand in order to really believe and understand so you realize there are some coins in here and they're not dropping out at all 
and this is why it's so cool. So there is a little flap here and then they call this the unique anti-spill compartment for coins or keys. So yeah, you could put your keys in there, but you could see that guys, I actually have a bunch of coins in there. I've got even more. This slot is like that with this little flap. And I think what Bo is mono missed out is that he just put the coins in and he didn't realize that you're supposed to put this flap underneath. So he put the coins in and he shook it. And of course the coins would come out because if you do that this way, yeah, it will be easy for any coin to drop out if it doesn't hit this part over here. But I found out at We The People, shout out to the staff at We The People, they actually showed me the correct way to do it. So you have coins in there. You put this flap underneath just like that. And because of that flap, the coins will always be guided to the end of this pocket here or this slot. So it's never going to come out no matter how hard you shake it. And you know, when you keep your wallet in your pocket, it's going to be flat anyway. Just a bonus and those of you who have watched my What's My EDC video would have known already. But the bonus is that this slot actually fits the pen of choice that I carry on me. And that is the Thai Scribe Mini. So it got a Thai Scribe Mini here and it just sits in that slot. I'll be the first couple of times when I put it in, you really have to go slowly because you don't want to rip the leather immediately. Just let it stretch out a little bit. But this actually sits in that slot very nicely and it closes up very nicely as well. And it sits in there almost the same as the travel pen, just that the travel pen will be completely flush with the wallet and none of this sticks out. And you could see, yes, the travel pen is small in diameter as compared to the Thai Scribe Mini. But because this wallet is in that like I mentioned, the portrait orientation. This is not going to stick to the side of your pocket, but this is just going to be sitting upright in your pocket. So if you have shallow pockets, this will be peeking out a little bit, but it wouldn't be causing you much of a problem. But if you do have slightly deeper pockets, this is going to sit in there perfectly. So that's the one biggest thing that I found as a great bonus to have. And I really like that that this is actually possible. Of course, I carry my pen in my left front pocket because I'm a lefty, so I just reach in and pull my pen out. But if I go out and I'm wearing pens with, say, for example, smaller front pockets, and it's just large enough to hold my phone in my left pocket, then this would come in totally handy. So yeah, guys, I uh, just wanted to share this with you, uh, give you a little bit more information about the wallet that I'm carrying and why I carry it, why I like it so much. Once again, guys, this is the Kisetsu Kaizen wallet in Crazy Horse Leather. They do have it in four different colors and the names that they give the colors are Graphite Black, Wine Red, Hunter Green, Steel Blue, which is this one, and they have a Vintage Brown. So yeah, they have five colors, not four, my bad, but you know, the more the merrier. And they do have versions where there are full RFID protection or just one half protection. And like I said, this one actually has RFID protection on the right side. Now, of course, these are not the cards that I carry all the time, but this is a good representation of the number of cards that I carry. I actually have one travel card here, two cards here. One is my ID and one is a credit card. I do have some ATM cards here and always two cards in this slot. And then this one over here could be like a membership card slot or something like that. So yeah, all in all, I'm actually carrying a total of six cards at any one point of time. So I'm going to read off some specs of the Kaizen wallet that Kisetsu has put on their website. This thing is actually measuring 17 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And in case you guys need the imperial measurements, then that is 6.69 inches by 3.94 inches opened up. It fits six to nine cards. There is this unique anti-spill compartment for coins or keys. There are wear-proof cut corners. And what that means is basically these corners are all angled. They're not 90 degrees, so they are wear proof, so it's not too sharp. Carrying this on the daily for the past three months, you guys can see the wear is actually pretty okay. It doesn't show any major signs of wear whatsoever. It comes with a travel pen with refill, SIM card and SD card pockets in the cash lock compartment. And this is actually going for 95 90 US dollars. But right now, at the point of recording this video, and the date today is the 18th of April, this is going for about 50% off, guys. 49 90 US dollars. It's crazy. I think it's a really good investment in my opinion. I had to try it out personally at the We The People store and I wasn't able to find a good review online about this thing, but you know, just take my word for it. I guess I've been having this on me for the past three months. No regrets purchasing this. It suits my needs. I know it's a specific set of needs now it doesn't have a see-through id card slot but yeah maybe there isn't that fully perfect solution out there in the market but you know one day there might be i don't know but just 
thought I'd share this with you guys. And that is it everyone, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you found it informative and I hope you found it interesting. So if you like this video guys and you want more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do subscribe, make sure that you hit that notification bell to be notified of any new uploads that I put out. Also, I run a Patreon page, I'll put a link up here to that in case you guys want to check it out. And if you do become a patron of mine, thank you so much in advance, it really means a lot to me. Once again everyone, this is the Kaizen Wallet by Kisetsu. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was quite fun making it. Oh yeah, of course, I will put links in the description box down below. So go check it out if you are interested in getting one of these for yourself. I don't know if that sale will still be valid by the time this video goes out. So fingers crossed, yeah. But even if not, $95.90 for this is quite worth it. Thanks once again, everyone. I'll catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Until then, everyone, gaga, boost.